uh, this is another Martha Luce moment. I think this is probably the third one. Uh, my name is Rafe Weber. Uh, I'm the shipwright on the job, and uh, what we're giving you a weekly update on the progress on Martha Lewis. Uh, we've been planking away, and I say we, Buddy Anderson and I, have been installing planks to the tune of about 34 planks between the two of us. Uh, I'm working the staving or the front end of the boat and bringing the, that back to a certain point where Buddy's meeting me and he's working from the aft forward, so we're trying to, to close things down. Uh, interestingly enough, as we uncover and uh, pull some planks, uh, we find places I've never seen the uh, uh, light of day, perhaps since 1955, and so we're making repairs at the same time. And if you look at some of the previous uh, uh, editions, you uh, will uh, see some good pictures of some of those repairs that we've been making. Uh, the weather's been starting to improve, and it's, uh, so has, has our production. Uh, we have gone on through, I think we're not right, running on 34 planks. We have 25 more planks that we have to, had to order. Uh, as we do our repairs, we start to uncover some areas that were uh, simply un unable to uh, be observed until uh, the, the, uh, the moment where we pull something off. We go, oh my gosh, a repair needs to be made here. Things are going along at a great clip and uh, the boat will be in the water uh, shortly, at least for the, our part of doing the bottom. Uh, the, I would like to mention something today about uh, volunteers. We are dearly in need, or I should say we, Martha, is in need of some volunteer work. While the shipwrights are here and we're doing our thing, we can give the best of advice and, and maximize our opportunities to put, turn Martha around now and really get this, this uh, project rolling. So I need some help with some painting, uh, some sanding. Some of it's not such a great work and it's a little drudgery. I dearly need to have someone go in and get our shavings and vacuum out the inside of the ship uh, and get it clean for us because as soon as we're finished then we're going to want to treat it for rot uh, using sodium borate, cuprinol and various other uh, 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 concoctions and solutions uh, to try to preserve Martha. I'm very interested in maximizing my effect. I'll be here for another four to six weeks and I dearly need and I want to start a nice cadre of volunteers. Uh, uh, this is an excellent way to get started. If you're a boat owner already and you're wishing, gosh I wish I could get a really fine uh, finish on my paints and my varnishes. Come see me for a few weekends. I promise I'll make a better finisher out of you. Woodworker as well. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Again, this is a great opportunity. As we build a relationship, there will be opportunities to learn how to sail, especially for young people. This is an awesome time, an awesome opportunity to learn how to navigate, learn something about the world outside of you, and to gain some skills that you could use years from now. Uh, my training in the past has been that of an industrial arts teacher. I learned very early that one of the best things that comes of being an industrial arts teacher is you create intelligent uh, consumers, intelligent people that know uh, are very handy in this world. So why not take the opportunity today or <laughs> this summer to learn something about sailing, about splicing rope, about f making finishes, painting, making the very best uh, and, and utilizing the best of your materials. This is a great opportunity. Uh, we have a lot of fun here and uh, I would like to say that we uh, there's there's a lot of laughs uh, but there's a lot to be learned and uh, it gives a person a really great sense of accomplishment when you step away from a project like this. Uh, this is my second time around with Martha Lewis and I have to say that one of the unexpected pleasures was the people that come together on these projects. They are a special sort. That person probably is you. Come see me. Come visit. And if you need to, call me at 443-417-5861. And for those of you trouble having trouble resolving your tritone substitutions, consider writing the parts out and making sure that they move in a linear progression as well. And you find that that solves a lot of problems. See you next time around. Buddy's all ready and that's right. Buddy, don't worry about it.